Study Guide to TSGT October 1, 2023-75 Chapter 14 Developing Self Section 14b Military Communication 14.5 Communication as a Foundational Competency Communication, oral, written, and nonverbal, is critical throughout a USAF career. Recognized as a foundational competency, the USAF has defined effective communication to include diverse skills such as presenting complex information articulately and concisely tailoring communication to address concerns of the audience voicing differing opinions on contentious issues without triggering a defensive response attending to nonverbal cues and communicating with sensitivity to others' needs this chapter addresses communication in its many forms within the USAF. From high-level strategic communication to routine meetings and email writing. While some communication formats described in this chapter are specific to the military, many of the communication principles described later in this chapter will serve members well even when transitioning to civilian careers. 14.6 Strategic Communication Airmen must ensure audiences know and understand what the USAF needs, where we are going, and how we can be positioned for success. Air Force Communication Weapons provides the tools needed to clearly articulate the global vigilance, global reach, and global power of the future. Because communication can be broken into three parts, the sender, the message, and the audience, we must be aware of and responsible for how we communicate including the way our communication is perceived by others. Strategic communication is viewed as an emerging and extremely important concept, resulting in strategic communication being designated as a special area of emphasis. Strategic communication defined. The Department of Defense broadly defines strategic communication as a process of purposefully using communication for the intent of advancing national interests and objectives through synchronized integration of information with other elements of national power. Communication synchronization entails focused efforts to create, strengthen, or preserve conditions favorable for the advancement of national interests, policies, and objectives by understanding and engaging key audiences through the use of coordinated actions. In other words, strategic communication is implemented by aligning actions, words, and images with the purpose of obtaining a specific objective or objectives. Leaders use strategic messaging to advocate the unique functions and distinct capabilities of air power to project national influence and respond to national defense requirements. Study Guide to TSGT October 1, 2023 14.7 Enterprise Perspective Having an enterprise perspective in strategic communication empowers USAF leaders to inform and appropriately influence key audiences by synchronizing and integrating communication efforts to deliver truthful, timely, accurate, and credible information, analysis, and opinion. Truth is the foundation of all public communications, both in terms of credibility and capability. Timely and agile dissemination of information is essential to achieving desired effects. Without appropriate information dissemination, strategic communication cannot maximize value or potential. It must be conducted at the time, level, and manner for which it is intended. Our USAF Story Effectively communicating who we are as airmen underwrites our ability to be successful in all areas of engagement. USAF leaders want every airman to be a communicator or spokesperson for the USAF, and through the enterprise perspective, be able to tell their USAF story. All airmen need to know how to integrate their personal USAF story and experience into a message that adds credibility to USAF, Department of Defense, and National Strategic Communication. 14.8. Public Affairs An important aspect of communication is speaking in public forums and recognizing the need for strategic communication alignment. This involves communication synchronization. As stated in AFI 1 to 1, the purpose of public affairs PA, operations is to communicate timely, accurate, and useful information about USAF activities to Department of Defense, the USAF as well as domestic and international audiences. The PA representative is the commander's principal spokesperson and advisor, and a member of the personal staff. 
PA advises the commander on the implications of command decisions, actions, and operations on foreign and domestic public perceptions. PA plans, executes, and evaluates activities and events to support overall operational success. The PA representative must have the resources to provide information, including visual information, to the staff, public, media, and subordinate units in near real time. PA should be involved in planning, decision-making, training, equipping, and executing operations as well as integrating PA activities into all levels of command. Additional information regarding public affairs can be found in AFI 35 to 101, Public Affairs Operations, November 20, 2020. Note, although briefly covered in standards of conduct and enforcing standards, propriety, and perception, it is important to mention that any activity not in alignment with good order, discipline, and national security may intentionally or unintentionally generate a negative perception of the USAF. Commanders have the authority and responsibility to address situations that could be perceived negatively, while also being mindful of preserving the service member's right of expression within these interests. More specific restrictions on communications and unofficial publications can be found in AFI 51 to 508, Political Activities, Free Speech and Freedom of Assembly of Air Force Personnel, October 12, 2018. 14.9. Social Media Airmen interact with individuals via face-to-face, -face, telephone, written letter, email, text messages, social networking services, and social media. Social networking includes weblogs, message boards, video sharing, and services such as YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat used by individuals and communities to stay in touch. Study Guide to TSGT October 1, 202377. Appropriate Posts Individuals are responsible for what they say, share, or post on social networking services. Offensive and inappropriate communication must be avoided. Also, airmen who provide commentary and opinions on internet blogs may not place comments on those blog sites which reasonably can be anticipated or are intended to degrade morale, good order and discipline of any members or units in the U.S. Armed Forces, are service discrediting, or would degrade the trust and confidence of the public. Additionally, it is important to recognize that social network, friends, and followers may potentially constitute relationships that could affect background investigations and periodic reinvestigations associated with security clearances. Additional information regarding social media can be found in AFH 33 to 337 The Tongue and Quill, May 27, 2015. AFI 35 to 107, Public Web and Social Communication, March 15, 2017. And AFI 35 to 113, Command Information, July 30, 2018. Operation Security. Operation security is vital to the accomplishment of the USAF mission. The use of social media and other forums that allow communication with large numbers of people brings with it the increased risk of magnifying operational security lapses. Classified, controlled unclassified information and other official Department of Defense information and documents are prohibited from being posted on social networking services or transmitted via non-Department of Defense email accounts without proper authority. 14.10. Military References for Communicating JP1-02, Department of Defense Dictionary of Military and Associated Terms, February 15, 2016, supplements English language dictionaries and standardizes terminology used within the Department of Defense, other federal agencies, and among the United States and its allies. It is a compilation of definitions, abbreviations, and acronyms applicable to the Department of Defense and its components, often used as a primary source for official correspondence and planning documents. The Air University Style Guide for Writers and Editors, negative one Australian dollar, provides guidance on writing, editing, and publishing matters related to official publications for the Air University. Also, negative one Australian dollar is a valuable reference for grammar, mechanics, 
and documentation of sources for those with an interest in military acronyms, ranks, and specialized military terms. The U.S. Government Printing Office Style Manual is the approved reference for all forms and styles of government printing. Essentially, the style manual is a standardization reference designed to achieve uniformity in word and type, aimed toward economy of word use. The tongue and quill is not an all-inclusive reference, but provides valuable, detailed information on most presentations and papers produced in professional military education courses. References, such as the Modern Language Association, MLA, Style Guide, the Chicago Manual of Style, and the American Psychological Association, APA, Style Guide, are widely recognized in the civilian sector and organizations following college and university writing standards. They provide useful information when conducting research or developing written products. 14.11. Military Phonetic Alphabet all branches of the U.S. government and military departments use the International Civil Aviation Organization alphabet for radio communication. This phonetic alphabet was adopted by the U.S. Armed Forces in 1956 and is currently used by North Atlantic Treaty Organization countries and civil aviation around the world. Table 14.1 Shows the letters, code words, and pronunciation. Study Guide to TSGT October 1, 202378. Table 14.1. Military Phonetic Alphabet. A Alpha A L Fa and November N O H Vam B R B Bravo B R H V O O Oscar O S S Car C Charlie Charlie P Papa P A H Pa D Delta D L T Q Quebec K H B E C E C O E K K O R Romeo Romeo F Foxtrot F O K S Trot S C R S C R I G Golf Golf T Tango Tango H Hotel H O T E L U Uniform U N A F O R M I I N D I A I N D I A V Victor V I K T O J Juliet J W Lee T T W Whiskey W I S S K K Kilo Kilo X X Ray E K S Ray L Lima Lima Y Yankee Y N G K M Mike Mike C Zulu Z O Lu. Fourteen point one two. Organizational communication. Organizational communication refers to the strategic sharing of information, both internally and externally, within and across the organizational industry. Leaders must exhibit solid organizational communication skills to accomplish organization and mission-related goals. Creating a culture of communication and maintaining relevance empowers people to own the organizational communication message at every level. According to Caldwell, Stroud, and Menning, in fostering a culture of engagement, to be effective, an organizational culture must be proactive, innovative, adaptive, leader-driven, and sustainable. Proactive. To be proactive means to seize the initiative and be agile in communicating the message. The capacity to be proactive enables leaders to get out front and communicate their perspectives and experiences on important topics. Innovative. To be innovative means to exercise ingenuity in seeking new effective ways of communicating. Relying on more than raw creative thinking, innovation requires an understanding of the characteristics and capabilities of information sharing and the pace of change. Adaptive. Adaptive, modern communication capabilities thrive in a fast-evolving, instantaneous, and interconnected information environment that presents challenges to rigid and inflexible organizations. The key to success in this environment is adjusting to changing circumstances on the run. Leader-driven. USAF leaders must confront modern media realities by fostering a culture of engagement in their subordinates and commands. Leaders set the command climate by making themselves available for communication, especially during times of crisis. Sustainable. Leadership is essential to instilling focus and function for the culture of engagement. Sustainability requires dedicated resources and manpower to build enduring capabilities to enable a culture of engagement. 